Alright, so greetings once again, ladies and gentle players. As you can see, I am back on my real board. And if you are particularly intelligent folk, you will notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a name there, a Legend 88. Now, not going too deeply into this person's history, suffice it to say, back on Taijim. Long, long ago, there was a professional player who decided to do something amazing. What did they decide to do, you might ask yourself. They decided to rank up from 5 to 7 Don, and then 7 Don to 9 Don. Not a difficult feat. But they did it playing, by and large, reasonable basic moves. That's right, reasonable basic moves. Not the unreasonable moves many of us are guilty of playing. No, 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 no. They instead did it by playing nice, basic go. Which, in my opinion, turned into some of the best lessons that, uh, that, that you really could ask for. Today, we're going over him versus a 5 Don. I picked this game specifically. Well, you know what? Let's see if you can spot why I picked it. You can probably find it in the first move. Look at that. 5-4 point. Someone's playing rather unorthodox. And let's just face it, lots of us go against this kind of stuff and doesn't go very well. So how does someone who plays rather basic tackle rather unorthodox positions? That right there is a lesson for you. Well, we've got lovely 4-4 four, four, and 5-4 opening here. Which is cool, which is cool. Right, so we have a 4-4 four, four and a 5-4 opening. And how does Black continue his rather unorthodox opening? Well, if you said he'll be playing a 5-3 point to go along with it, congratulations, you are right. And how did you guess that? Now, what we can say about the 5-4, five, 5-3 five, opening is that it's not a very big fan of what we call points. Because at any moment, your opponent can slide on in to your corner in any number of different ways. Now, this can transition back into a points kind of game. You can do that with either or. But it does take a, that little extra work to make points with this open. So instead, what this is usually saying is, I want to develop somewhere in here. And what this is usually saying is, I want to develop somewhere in here. Which is a weird thing to say. Because if this stone is interested in this area, and this stone is interested in this area, then these stones aren't really working together very well. Interesting. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good day, too, there, Loves Play Games. Thank you for the resub. So, all right. White continues. With a 4-4 four, four point. Easy enough. Easy enough. And Black trying his very best to make these stones work together. He decides to go for what I'm going to refer to as the drunken San Rensei. Because it seems like you saw the dots on the board where the San Rensei is supposed to go. And, you know, you've had a little bit too much and you're misclicking. You know, it happens. It happens. Who hasn't, who hasn't done that? You know, who hasn't? White proving that he has not been drinking. Plays the actual San Rensei. All right, now that means we've got drunken San Rensei versus true San Rensei. Who is going to be the one to actually uh, come out on top? Black expands. This makes sense because this says 
I'm interested in this. So, okay, expanding this way does make sense, but note it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, this is actually a little bit larger. So technically, this is a little bit of a smaller side, but only by like one line. White plays very, very calmly. Allowing black to establish an extension. Now we're getting into an influential kind of game. And it's actually an influential kind of game that has a hidden danger to it. Can you spot the hidden danger? You can spot the hidden danger. Y'all are smarty patooties. You're like, wait a minute, sir. I detect. I detect with my eye. If he, because he got an extension, at an extension, if he were to get an enclosure, he's got a double wing. My God, man, that's good. And you'd be right. You'd be right. That makes perfect sense. If he gets an enclosure to go with this, he's getting enclosed. And to, I mean, this is a little bit too close. But for the most part, it's an enclosure and extend on two sides. But the hidden danger of that one is your territory then is all in one area. And you, you got to be careful when you're putting all of your eggies in one basket. Someone tends to come along and go, smash. And then all your eggs are broken. Sad face. That said, White's like, uh, that, that's okay. You can, you can do that. If that is what you want to do, you can do that. Take your enclosure. I'll reduce that next. It's fine. Now, I would expect, given this board position and these influential moves that we have from Black, that Black would follow up somewhere into here to just start building out into the middle. Instead, Black decides to play more of a territorial approach to... Uh, his response to White's. I mean, nothing inherently wrong with it. Just seems a little bit strange. Response is very straightforward. Yuhane. Black's going to draw back. Like so. And then rather than playing a slow move here, which would just allow our opponent to maybe play against our uh, vital point or lean... Or even just jump out to, you know, continue building. Nice fast move. To settle. And Black, wanting to develop, decides to play here. He could take this. There's nothing wrong with it. At that point... White could play an enclosure. White could jump up, but that's a little... Eh, it's not sente. Black could just, like, spin a stone somewhere over on the top side of the board, and wherever it stops spinning, that could just be his move, and we expect it to live. Okay, that's slightly awkward. You wouldn't want to play there, but you get the idea. The theory is still sound. Because it's wide open, no matter where you were going to play, it's going to just go back and live. But he doesn't do that. Instead, he jumps. Okay, cool. This area is getting kind of big now. Kind of big. He's going he's gonna to reduce it, right? So where is he going to reduce? Where does he start reducing this? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? I guess you could peep into an extension. You, yeah, you could peep into the extend for, uh, for that variation. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, white's move. How are you going to, how are you going to deal with this? O ten. 
Hmm. O ten's interesting. O ten's interesting. You're saying do 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 bonk. Interesting. The infamous four four. No, you would not four four. You would maybe three four, but I don't think you would do four four. Hmm. R eleven. <laughs> I trick all of you. So he's not actually going to reduce. And the reason why he's not going to reduce is because the follow-up is pretty big. You could start reducing, your opponent will ignore you, continue to get influence, and then keep expanding. So the right answer was don't reduce. Take your next big move. You defend your group, you take away the large point, and you're expanding. Now, anyone who had that thought in their head, congratulations, you did well. Congratulations. Those of you who wanted to reduce now, you are all scaredy pants. Need to relax, man. Black takes large point. Now we've got a framework game. We have a true, honest-to-goodness framework game. When's the last time you've seen one of those? Huh? You don't remember, do you? It's been way too long. But okay, now in all seriousness, we are going to do something about this huge area being developed. So what are we going to do? All, all serious. All seriousness. Now we're going to do something. And 9, and then 10. Wait, what? What are these things? Uh, Q10. Oh, that's, that's, that's aggressive. That's aggressive. R9, R9. Okay. You guys are like going... Dang, man, you guys are going deep. P15? So here's the thing. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. You can go deep and be like, I do not want you to have anything. I will show you what I think of your influence. But, 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 big but, you've got your own framework. So what are you doing freaking out over this thing? Instead, if we can get black to develop a wall here while we're developing a wall here, this area is larger than this area. You always want to eat the large area. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Black says, no, 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 no. You're not going to do that to me. You're trying to take large area. I am not stand for it. I want to point out, this game was played many, many, many years ago. And yet, don't you know it? Uh, it's got some modern classics. It's got some modern classics for us. Deciding which way to block. This area is large and it can grow into here. If we were to if we were to block here, that means you just like reduce lightly from up here and you've done very, very good against um against white. You got him to block in the direction that's easiest to uh, reduce him in. So instead, white blocks this way. That way, all of this is going out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Black extends. And from here, we're going to play just reasonable Jaseki.
something very similar to what we would play today. Something very, very similar to what we would play today. Black wants to remain on the outside. So he Ataris, and then he protects. Because he wants to remain on that outside. Right? And now here's something that might bake your noodle. White plays here. You don't get it? Imagine this sequence facing this way instead. Then you would have this opponent here. Ready to go in. Right? So just turn this sequence a little bit in your mind and you can see the difference. But doesn't this move look extremely small? Doesn't it? Looks kind of small, don't it? What do you think? Is uh, is White not who I said he is? Is he just like some silly Q player? Why would he play something so small? Hirahi says, Chigo. It is big. Because Black has to make life and has no time to reduce. Egg Zach Toli. Because these stones are here, you can imagine in your head this. Connect it. And to extend up. If you can imagine that, then you are now seeing Black, who is not alive locally. So, this move. It looks small at first glance until you see the continuation. Once you see the continuation, you realize, you know, that's not as small as I thought it was. So black needs to expand. White answers. And bless his little soul, he plays again to try and defend himself. Now, unfortunately, he didn't defend this stone. And he's like trying to like defend here and kind of peep out into the middle. So, Mr. Basic Man is just going to calmly peek at the base. Little bit of a peep, little bit of a peep. And honest to goodness, Black tries to play lightly here to recover from the peep. He's trying to play nice and light. This Atari is a mistake. He should uh, fall back instead. But instead he does Atari. Unfortunate for him that he did. But he did. Uh, white takes, and then black jumps out. Now, at face value, this doesn't look that bad. And if you are Captain McPassive Pants, if you are Captain McPassive Pants, it's going to be very, very strong. Because maybe you're the kind of person that never really assaults anyone's uh, weak points. If you're that kind of person, this, this was good. But, you can still poke. Because once you poke, Black is once again not a lie on top of the board. Once again, not alive on tippy top of the board. But Black is done playing moves up there. So it's time to get some stuff done. Time to get work in. White jumps back because he knows where the pressure is. I commend this turn. 
I absolutely 100% commend this turn. He's not going here, for example, and getting cut. He's not trying to jump straight out. He is trying to actually play very strong and solid moves. You know? You can get kind of little glimpses into Black's play. He tried to play lightly here. Didn't work out very well for him. He knows better than just to jump in straight lines or try to jump with small knights. So we're having the diagonal now. Like, it's not weak play. It is, he's showing that he's conscious of, at least to a point, of the shapes he's making. And he's trying to deal with it effectively. It's just he's not very good at answering things. Here, for example, is now threatening to literally cut straight through the one-point jump. So he's forced to defend it in a very disgusting manner. Allowing white to get a lot of territory. But he's going to go back and try to profit some more. Just like so. Just like so. Now, whoops. Wait, what? Oh, I'm stupid, sorry. Block first, dum-dum. There we go. So, he knows better than to try and cut here. Because this is alive. So, cutting this group off from here doesn't matter. You just Atari straight down. And then kill black here. So it goes into the Atari here. Gets Atari. Extends. And then black caps. White caps, sorry. That is pretty strong. That is pretty strong. White isn't going deeply to try to kill him. He's just poking his opponent, which he's been doing from the start. It's like, your shape, sir. You still need to look after it. Looks pretty alive-ish for now. So what is White going to do? What's White going to do, chat? What is White going to do? I can already see white reducing the white the right to nothingness. J6. Uh, what's J6? Um, oh, connect. Okay. J16. Whoa, what's J16? Oh, yeah, you want to play here to develop that? Interesting. Has anybody said? No, no one said it. You can push to threaten the Hane that had a two stones. The Hane is an Atari. Right? Why not? Why not? Plays the Atari. Connects. Nice and simple. Cuts uh, white off. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Influences to attack, and now he's, you know, found something that he can go try to attack. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see how many of you don't die to this sequence. Next move is obvious, right? Everyone can say it. Everyone can say it. Very obvious. Love me some Legend 88. Yep, 07 Atari. Sure, sure, sure. True, 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 true. 
And now how are you going to make shape? Here's a shape problem for you. How are you making shape? Q9. Yep, 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 yep. Easy shape to make. Black pokes. We're going to keep making shape. We're going to keep making the shapey shapies. Where's the next shape point for white? Sente one too. P6. You want to poke. Interesting. Uh, Q7, Q7. There you go. Very simple shape point. Black sees where this is going. If he plays here, then there's the push. So he can tell he needs something else here. White is not going to be distracted. Because remember, at worst, he's already alive on top of the board. Follow up. Connection. Going after mole points. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. He figures he's alive as he is. He's got an eye. Looks like he's connected. No reason, uh, no reason to respond again, right? And if he gets all of this territory, mm, very, very good. But there's a problem in the shape. There is a problem in the shape. Players that just try and take sente and leave their shape questionable. It's what we always see, you know? It's what we always see. Q4? Uh, no. Almost. Much simpler. Much simpler. You've got a, you've got a, uh, what's it called? A uh, table. If black hanes, you go into a table shape. So we can't hane. Must mean he has to push. Okay. Block, block, block. This uh, different order doesn't change anything. This is now similar to if you played the table shape um, originally and then just tried to push through it. Same thing. Same thing. And there you go. Tries to connect. Not exactly working today. Sorry. Connects. Likewise. Sente Atari, okay. And then saves himself. However, that save is Gote, right? These stones are fine by virtue of the fact that they literally just killed a man. So there's no reason to play there again. None. Zero. Zip. Which means he can turn his eyes to this area. And now a lot of people on YouTube here 
will no longer be watching this video. And I know that because of my analytics. They will look at this and they will tune out the rest of this game. They'll be like, yeah, okay, I, kn I know what happens in the game now. It don't matter. It don't matter. But there is some more amazing shape coming up. If you were going to start reducing this area, how would you start reducing it? Because the lesson is not done yet. Now we get to have a lesson, another lesson on invasion. We had a lesson here on invasion that Black sadly failed miserably. And we're going to have another lesson on invasion right now. M13, how did you get to M13? M12? Ooh. Q15? I bet AI would attack a corner. I bet AI can fuck my... Right, so in order to invade now, we look at the sector line, and we are going to play right along the sector line. Easy as that. We're not too deep. Now, this would be dangerous to play if there were still Sente moves against this group, but there aren't because that thing here has three liberties. So, you know that's not going to stop anyone from trying to kill you. And thus, the second lesson of this brilliant game begins. Because you've all been in this situation before. You went for a totally reasonable invasion, and the psychopath you're playing is going to try to kill you. You've all played this game before. In fact, I'm fairly sure some of you are probably on the other side. So, alright. We need to deal with this. First, very simple question. Can I connect up? Black says, no, you can't connect up. White says, are you sure I can't? Because if you just let me turn right through there, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be safe. Literally, just, just a few, you know, just, just right, right there. Just let me go through. And Black's like, no. You don't get to go through. And again, we can't do this if that group hadn't been made immortal by killing this group. This managing to live locally means we can do this. Because imagine still being in trouble here, then we just killed ourselves. So that's cool. Next simple, simple move. Damaging the stone that's trying to kill you. Black still trying to kill. Create a cutting point. Take an advantage. Falling back. All right, nothing too overplay about that one. That means your stone's clearly dead. Being made a little bit heavier here. And taking all them points. All them pointy pointy points. So white leaves. And now it's black's turn to invade. Simple response. Nice and basic. It means the stone should live. Hane on the end. Atari. We should expect this group to survive because all of these fourth line moves for white does not territory make. Drops down, so black can't keep going through here. If we were to do something like this, for example, then we'd have to be careful here. 
and we'd have to be careful here. And then that's a pretty bloody successful invasion. If you ask me. So, yes, there are Atari here. That is true. But defending these points is just way too important. That's a lot of pointy ponies right there. A lot of pointy ponies. Black says, can I leave? And white says, why, yes, you can on your way, good sir. Thank you for stopping by. Same time next week. Now, the problem with this move, rather than something down in here, is it left the cup behind. Oops. Oopsie daisy. That's an oopsie doozle. Tari down, trying to capture. Trying to get some kind of ladder thing working on in here. Which, uh, spoiler, not gonna happen. But, 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 notice this is being cut off. Oh, as Astor's mentioned, yeah. B's secret agenda is to try to go back and kill the thing with one eye already. Now, I want to reiterate. At this point, I mean, you're playing someone who's never lost a game. You know they're a pretty strong player, but I like this attempt to still frickin' murder them. It's like, no, man, I'm gonna be their first loss. That's what's happening here. I'm a kill me a fool. Forcing. See, those poor individuals who tuned out after the capture. Ugh, poor them. Look what they're gonna miss now. So, all right. Trying to kill. White now needs to live. He needs another eye. So how do we begin trying to do that? Anybody know? Because this variation looks scary, but it really, really isn't. I think even if your 10Q should be able to live here, I really believe that. Even if your 10Q, H13, yeah, you're going to go up. If you go up, you're threatening to push through. That's pretty big. Don't want to get killed, so we're going to go ahead and play a nice solid connection, which leads to the most obvious move in the history of ever, the J16 that Pseudo Knight wanted to play. Tries to go for a kill. I mean, at this point, he's invested. And y'all are going to love this. Oh, you're going to love this. Threaten to kill. Threaten to kill. Threatening to kill. But what if I told you the shape that Black just made is terrible? You cannot kill with it. What if I just said Black's shape is disgustingly awful? And if you were to envision the shape, if you were to envision a shape that would not be able to kill your opponent, it's this one right here. K15? What's K15? No, 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 no. We've got something much better than K15, man. No, we ain't doing that. Fundamentally, this shape just doesn't work because something of Black's just died. And I bet some of y'all didn't even know that. Frack. Doesn't require white playing twice. Peep City? Not even. Not even. Well, kind of. So 
So it looks like there are problems here. And you might say, oh yeah, you can do this one into this one. And I would say, oh my god, you're passive. Like, yeah, you can do that, sure. I'll grant, you can. But... That is a cut point. Oh, that's a cut point. The shape just does not hold. The shape just doesn't hold. Tried it. Gets killed. Gets killed. Not only got killed, got pushed back to the third and second line. Oof. That's rough. That area was supposed to be big, man. But it's okay. Black found a 3-3. Three, three. It's okay. Black found a 3-3. Three, three. Don't worry. When in doubt, 3-3 three, three it out. And just like so, we're threatening to live. And since white is uh, no slouch... He will Atari. And there we go. Can Black even come back now? No. No, at this point, he has lost the game. Assuming White doesn't make mistakes. But as you all know, some people do. Some people have been known to make mistakes. So there's Samaji here. He's going to keep a... Uh, he's going to keep a poking. He's going to keep a poking at it. Can I cut through you? Asks White. No, you can't, says Black. And back to Co. Can I massively kill you, says Black. No, you can't, says White. I'm back to Co. Can I viciously rip into your corner and take your territory, asks White. Sure, I didn't want those points anyway. Says Black. So in we go. Ah, uh, that's that's a rough that's a rough reduction right there. Uh, that's some pretty rough reduction right there. Bye bye corner. Keeping territory. Poking the shape again. Connection. Defense. And at this point, Black takes an honest look at what his life has become and says, you know what? Nothing, no nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. And resigns honorably. So, good fight for Black. I like that he made the attempt, because we got to see a really, really nice way to make shape here. In a situation that we've all been in before. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Isn't this effectively balanced? Seems like White destroying about as much as he lost. Um, but he can't take even, res he can't take even exchanges. Even exchanges means he's still behind. So he needed to live here and not lose anything. I love Legend 80, he plays so simply, I know. 
His games are some of the uh, most educational games that we're going to probably see if uh, almost ever. Very, very simple play. Not a whole lot of deep reading going on here. Just like, you know, there's, there's, uh, you know, I can hot it head two and three stones. Making some shapes. You have to have really good reading to play these simple moves. Not really. Not really. He's playing strong shapes. Even listen to some proverbs. And the rest kind of attended to itself. Anyway. This game was pretty... Reasonable to be... By going to label it as such. The next game that we're going to look at is not reasonable because it is going to feature everyone's lovable punching bag, Legend 88 versus At Night. <laughs> 